What's good, we're guys, Matt McCoy, Country Song Teacher. I hope you're doing well. Before I do the video, let me say a quick thank you so much. Uh, yesterday, I released my new Kenny Chesney favorite songbook. The, the support y'all have given me has been amazing. So I just had to say, first of all, thank you so much for that. But y'all tuned in on TikTok or here on YouTube um, when I went live last night and stuff. So, so I say all the time, y'all give me an amazing life. So let me, let me first throw that out there before I even do this video. Uh, thank you for the support you give me. I want to talk about strumming. Every about 10 to 15 to maybe maybe 20 videos, I go back to strumming because the best way to improve your guitar playing, weird, big duck just flew down. Another duck over here. The best way to improve your guitar playing is get impr improve with strumming. So, and the best advice I can give you, don't think about strumming patterns, think about strumming timing. When you learn, when you find out a song, you learn the chords, say what is the timing per chord, and then look at your right hand like a drum. That is my very, very Cliff Notes quick version of strumming. So what we're going to talk about today in this video is the string stop. One of the things that gets you thinking like a drummer more instead of strumming patterns and down, up, and down is learning to stop the strings when you do a down strum. So again, right now you can just grab your guitar, grip the whole thing, and try to make no sound, just gripping. And you're going down like that. And then what you want to do is maybe go to a G chord. And kind of do down, stop, up, up, stop. That might be the first strumming pattern that you work on to really get that palm mute. So it's down, stop, up, up, stop. Down, stop, up, up, stop. So you're learning to control that pick. And you're learning how to keep that timing going within your head. C. G. We're going to go D. there's kind of a there's a beat and there's a rhythm to it acoustic guitar is all about rhythm and so many times if you're thinking of down down up down up down up down down up up down up down it's going to throw you off people so many people when i used to when i was learning at first would tell me all these strumming patterns is down down up up down up down up and it's just going to mess you up so learning the uh, i always say when i'm learning a song what i'll kind of do is just mute the strings I'm just doing down. So I'm just chopping down. That's how I learned every single song at first. Because I'm listening. What is the timing of the song? So I'm, you know, I'm thinking about what is the timing? How long should I stay on that chord? And instead of worrying about the up strums, because a lot of times, if you're a beginner, that up strum is going to throw you off. It will not. So, so but with, here's a great exercise to work on. That right there. Y'all let me know in the comment section if you can do that. So strum, stop, up, up, stop. And remember, on the up strum, you're just strumming the bottom two or three. A lot of times people think you gotta strum all the all the strings. It's just strum, stop, up. I'm just flipping the two, bottom two or three. Strum, stop, up, up, stop. That right there. So just no matter how slow you have to do it, strum, stop. Again, you're raking your hand as you go down. So first is a regular strum. Rake your hand as you go down. Up, up, stop. So maybe do that twice, then go to maybe a C at nine. I call it a C chord. Just slide down right there. Now the bottom five. Back to G. say this this might sound crazy might resonate with somebody when you're first learning guitar sometimes you can be too fragile with the guitar and it's a, so i see a lot of times especially i used to teach kids and they'd have that peak out there 
they would switch. And I think they think if they hit the bass or something, it's going to hurt the guitar, hurt the guitar. But you're not. You got to be a little rough with it sometimes. So, so, so you can really chop down. When you're chopping, hit that. Like I said, come down on it and, and rake that string. But you're really listening for that consistent timing. strumming tip guys like i said strumming's always gonna be your most difficult part so just hang in there i tell people all the time instead of looking at this guitar all complicated narrow it down this is what i go over my beginner guitar course narrow it down to two frets really just focus on that second and third fret you can play so many chords your g c minor and d right there so you're, you're instead of being all complicated down here you're now narrow it down to two frets and then you're just working on new strumming patterns you can do them i love that song goes I'm treating my sorrow I'm treating my shame I'm laying down the joy of the Lord I'm treating my sickness I'm treating my Type in Matt McCoy trading my sorrows was that song. It's one of my favorite worship songs. All the whole song is just G, C, E minor, D, and you're doing that little kind of, kind of palm mute. So learn the palm mute, learn the string stop. So down, up, stop, up, up, stop. Learn that kind of thing. It's going to get you more and more advanced. Like I said, when you get difficult songs, like the very first song by Kenny Chesney. All the pretty girls. You, you'd cable the fourth fret, but I won't play it. No cable. All the pretty girls. That I'm just, I'm just doing it down, up, and just stop, that kind of thing. So that's the first song in the Kenny Chesney songbook, All the Pretty Girls. Anyway, guys, go check out the website, countrysongteacher.com, and please, please do me a favor. When you see my videos, right when you start watching it, smash that like button. That helps promote the channel, lets me do something I love. So if any of my videos in the past or, or current ones, whatever, have been effective, help you on guitar or whatever, um, please always hit that thumbs up button. That helps promote the channel. In case me employed, right? <laughs> so anyway, love you guys. Go to countrysongteacher.com if you want the Kenny Chesney songbook. I've got strumming courses, all that kind of stuff. So go check it out. If you just know four chords, I got lots of four chord songbooks. Where every song just uses the second and third fret. So go check it out. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Let's go.